What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have to talk about NetherRealm and talk about this new report that uh, is circulating online. This comes actually from Jeff Grubb. Uh, it, I, I saw it on uh, Video Game Chronicles, and they're a great website as well, and I didn't actually know they took it from Jeff Grubb. But basically, uh, we kind of have what could potentially be the future of NetherRealm in terms of what they're making, and that is the next Mortal Kombat game. Now, you know, I'm obviously trying to center this around Injustice, but I do want to talk about the idea of just going straight to, you know, the next MK game and what that means as well. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm pretty disappointed in, you know, this if it's true, if it's true. So basically what it boils down to is that, you know, at least Jeff Grubb believes, okay, and he's been pretty darn accurate uh, in the past. He believes that NetherRealm is working right now on Mortal Kombat 12, and that's going to be their next game. He didn't even mention a Marvel fighting game. He didn't mention Injustice 3 in terms of being made, but he did say, you know, by doing Mortal Kombat, you ensure that it's going to sell well, that it's going to do well, and you don't have to use basically any DC characters that may get caught up in licensing when you're, you know, thinking of selling or you are going to sell or the transition, all that stuff. It just makes it easier if you don't mess around with licenses. So it's kind of like a dual problem. And I, again, I don't really like any of this. I, I like Mortal Kombat games. I think they're fine. Uh, you know, I, I've played the last, I think, three or so of them, and I've enjoyed them in the kind of limited time I've spent. But Injustice, you know, I've really loved those games, and I kind of want something new from NetherRealm as well. So, you know, in terms of Injustice 3 not looking good, it, I think it flat out doesn't. It does not look good, at least until a lot of this kind of behind-the-scenes stuff is put to bed, and that could be quite a while. I mean, if you think about it, it probably is going to take at least one, two, three years to, to figure all of this stuff out in terms of are they safe? You know, are they, you know, if they moved, what's the new rules? What's, you know, all that stuff. It's going to take a couple years, and then you know, it has to kind of line up with their development cycle. Uh, now, we do know, obviously, they are working on their next game. They used to do games every two years. Obviously, that has, has seemingly um, been pushed. There has been rumors before that maybe these games could make next-gen uh, versions, like there could be some sort of upgrade or remaster for the Injustice franchise, as well as maybe the last couple Mortal Kombat games. I know that was a rumor uh, maybe a few months ago. That's very likely, I think, something that could happen along with just a new Mortal Kombat game. But yeah, I mean, overall, I'm not, I'm not happy with with it. Um, I, I think there needs to be a little bit di uh, of, of diversity. Um, again, like nothing against Mortal Kombat, but I even think like if you look back, now there was a time when they kind of just did Mortal Kombat, but for the most part, at least, you know, recently, they've had this alternating schedule, which has been pretty good because I, I think it just helps everything. You know what I mean? If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you get what you want and that's great. And then you have something that's a little bit different in, in terms of injustice. And you can kind of go back and forth and serve everybody. And because you're doing it every two years, you're really not waiting all that long for these games you know what i mean but it, you know if it turns out that the next Mortal Kombat game you know is to come out middle of next year is it still another year away you know whenever it comes out you have that and then you know then is injustice 3 like is it is it their time after that and even again kind of behind the scenes uh, again injustice i guess being the biggest thing that i wanted to focus on in this video but like the marvel fighting game now yes maybe that is just something that uh, us fans have kind of uh, tried to will into existence you know what i mean like maybe there was very very and there kind of has been not a ton of information there to suggest that that's what they're doing but there's been a little bit here and there um, you know obviously if this happens all of those things would have been proven false but even that you know that that satisfied me in a lot of ways you know just kind of hearing about it and kind of um, liking the idea basically right I like the idea because it's still different it's not in, so again like injustice obviously would be put aside for a little bit because of that but to just kind of introduce another new thing you know what I mean so you have Mortal Kombat injustice and then you would have this Marvel fighting game I think that would be really really cool so you'll have to wait and see but again I don't really I don't like how it sounds because what it sounds like is you know Mortal Kombat 12 is the next game and then and then maybe after that but you know in terms of like the short term they probably don't want to touch injustice just because they're afraid of what could happen and like I said taking that next step well if it takes a year or half a year or a year and a half to get the whole sale to go through say they are trying to sell them right it's going to take a little while before they could start to actually make an injustice so now you have to wait 
until they're basically allowed to make it, and then you have to wait for them to make it. You know what I mean? So that's two, three, four years right there. So instead of getting an Injustice game next year, if you thought that that was next, right, now you're looking at like 2025 or later, right? And that's obviously not going to make people happy. So let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you guys want to support us in any of the other places, I have a Twitter. I have a second YouTube channel. I also have a Patreon. Patreon and YouTube membership. All of the links for them are in the description below if you guys want to check it out, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.